In this video series I analyze how different countries would look like in their greater version today. Don't take it too seriously, it's just a thought experiment using a lot of imagination. In the last video we analyzed Greater Liechtenstein, but also peaceful small little Luxembourg is not sparred from this video series. So in this video we'll transform Luxembourg from a tiny land squeezed by three countries into a mega empire that you should rather not mess with. Luxembourg was not always as small as it is today. Before 1659, Luxembourg was about four times as large as it is today. About 10% of the area went to France in 1659, 25% of the remaining area to Prussia in 1815, and another 65% to Belgium in 1839. So it's time that we free Luxembourg from this miserable history and turn it into a country that fully deserves to be called Luxembourg. To do this, we will not simply restore the previous borders, but we want to think big and friendly add all the provinces and regions bordering Luxembourg. Luxembourg has only a 900 man strong lightly armed volunteer army, so either the bordering regions must voluntarily find a way to Luxembourg in a democratic way, or the 900 soldiers must really put in effort to stand up against Belgium, Germany and France. And France is a nuclear superpower. So let's take a look at the map to grasp the full extension of Greater Luxembourg. To the west we add Wallonia to Luxembourg, to the east the German states of Rhineland, Palatinate and Saarland, and to the south the French region of Grand d'Est. This scales Luxembourg from 2500 square kilometers to just under 100,000 square kilometers, making it over 38 times larger than it is today. Now it is about the same size as Iceland or a bit larger than Hungary. Likewise, over 14.8 million people now call Greater Luxembourg their home, over 23 times more than today. But the largest city in Greater Luxembourg is not Luxembourg City, instead it is Strasbourg in France with 290,000 inhabitants, followed by Mainz, Charlois, Liège, Saarbrücken and Rest. Greater Luxembourg still has no access to the sea, but it has control over a large section of the Rhine and also parts of the Meuse fall under Greater Luxembourg's sovereignty. In today's Luxembourg, 98% speak French, 78% German and 77% Luxembourgish, which means that the majority of Luxembourg's inhabitants are trilingual. This beautiful property is unfortunately lost in Greater Luxembourg, where roughly one-third speak French, one-third German and one-fifth Walloon. By the way, there is no Luxembourgian keyboard layout, but in Luxembourg the Swiss keyboard layout is used, thanks to good compatibility with the German and French languages. We now have transformed Luxembourg from a small country into a respectable player on the stage of Europe's superpowers. 